Hey everybody, welcome to this special edition of Heat Seeker Outdoors. It's Memorial Day today. Uh, Bo's on the camera with me and we're here. We stopped off at the uh, local memorial that we have here in town and it's really powerful. Um, just all the, all the crosses that are laid out here. Seeing the names of those that have sacrificed everything that they had for us and, uh, and we just couldn't say uh, thank you anymore to them. Uh, this week we're going to go with our buddy Jordan. Uh, it's the Wounded Hero Turkey Hunt in Atterbury and that's kind of a chance for all of us that haven't served uh, to give back to those people and try to help them out. You know Jordan was so cool and uh, we had a really good time hunting with him. We had so many hunters from all ages, all levels of disability and uh, we killed several birds. Jordan, uh, I went with Jordan and we got him on a bird. Uh, I don't think we were even in the woods probably two hours and we had a bird and he was so excited. So, you know, serving uh, in the fire service, uh, police, EMS, military, we all have a special bond and a connection and it's really cool that we didn't, had no idea, never met each other, but we made that instant connection. So really cool on that. Um, the Wounded Hero Hunt, uh, Command Sergeant Major Benham puts that, uh, most of that together. And there's other people I'm missing too, uh, with Lieutenant Colonel Bell and, and uh, some other special people out there that put it together. But Command Sergeant Major Benham uh, really puts a lot of additional time and effort into that. And, and uh, you know, first we start off the morning, every morning with a big breakfast. And it doesn't seem all that important, but the fellowship, the friendship that we gain there and uh, everybody tells stories and we just have such a good time starting the morning out right and uh, the guide staff does a lot of the cooking and things and I, I mean there's just it's so much fun to be a part of but so we hope you enjoy this week's episode of Heat Seeker Outdoors the special edition Wounded Hero Hunt. My name is Jordan Von Duren. I'm here at Camp Atterbury on the Wounded Hero Hunt in Indiana. Uh, I was wounded in Afghanistan in 2016. Uh, I was medically retired with a traumatic brain injury. After the military, I started looking into places to kind of get back into civilian life and hunting organizations like this at Camp Atterbury has really just helped me cope with any of the stress that I had. Organizations like this really help out a lot of veterans, not, any, not even including myself, just other veterans that have a terrible time getting back into the swing of things. I just want to thank the staff here at Camp Atterbury. This is an awesome event for the deer season and the turkey season.
Hi, I'm, I'm Jordan Bonderan here with uh, Wounded Hero Hunt here at Camp Atterbury. Uh, we're going to be setting, here, setting up here on, the, on this ridge where the turkeys are working over, hopefully crossing right where we're going to put our decoys. Um, I don't know what else to say here. <laughs> Ago, yeah, I mean, it sounded like he was down there at the bottom of that ridge right there. Then he shut up for a while and just came on up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I was sitting there looking, I seen some movement right over here. I thought I saw a coyote. And then I was like, Tom, Tom. Oh, oh dude, dude, brother, I, I that's seen, awesome. I seen that white head coming. I seen that white head and then I seen the fan. I was like, oh man, he's right there. <laughs> He like came around and I was like, God, this pole is right, not where it needs to be. <laughs> oh, that is great, man. Oh. Man, I didn't want to mess up anything. No, you I got think, it, I think I shot him in the good I don't know if I messed his fan up. That's, that's a bunch of turkeys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get him walking up here. Everybody, we're here uh, with our friend Jordan here. Uh, we're on the Wounded Hero Hunt here in Camp Atterbury, and Jordan made it happen this morning. I'm gonna let him tell you what happened because I'll mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess 
Yeah, we were sitting here. It's a pretty quiet morning. We really didn't hear any gobbles going on, um, other than a few maybe gobbles. Then he came out over there in the woods, and we couldn't see him. We heard him gobble pretty close, and then heard him work away. And then all of a sudden, he came out of nowhere after going silent for a few minutes. And it was all pretty quick. I couldn't really get a shot when I saw him because the pole went blind and was right in the way. We were kind of starting to wonder if he was going to let this bird walk out of like a good, too good a heart or something maybe on him. But yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. It's just the pole was right where it just <laughs> didn't need to be. That's what happens with every hunt we go on. If there's a pole that's that big around, it's going to be in the way. Exactly. Yeah. Or the cameraman's going to be on the wrong side. Or, or your collar ain't worth a oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But it worked out good then. You know yeah. I mean? Nothing, no gobbles off the roof, off the roost today. Had that one shot gobble, and then out of nowhere here he come. Made out perfect, man. Yeah. Great shot. I mean, you laid him down. Yeah, there's no doubt about yeah. it. I just felt no bad. tracking. Felt bad for seeing the decoy. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You know, decoys <laughs> can be replaced. You didn't have to chase this one across the field, <laughs> the creek and stuff. So that's good. yeah, dumped oh. him where he was at. So, well, good job. Yeah, appreciate it. Pretty good hunt for yeah. windy day, rainy, and yeah. storm come in last night. Right. Couldn't have been any better in textbook. Well, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Heat Seeker Outdoors. Uh, the feelings of success that John and I had in that blind with Jordan, I mean, it was kind of overwhelming a little bit to me. And I know John was all smiles, laughs, and uh, we just couldn't have, couldn't have put together any better of a hunt. And I've made a lifelong friend now, I, I think, in Jordan, and uh, I hope he feels the same way. But. Uh, we're going to continue to do uh, everything we can to help out that wounded hero hunt and uh, really happy that we could bring it to you this week and we hope that you keep watching us here with Peace Seeker Outdoors.